something I'm quite interested in is how do you feel, forget Google, that's yeah, you, yeah, sure. with, um, how do you feel about companies borrowing um, your technology and developments and skinning it in a different way and maybe having more success with it? Does that uh, piss you off? Um, you know what, I mean, I, I've got to say honestly, it doesn't piss me off. Um, the way that I look at that kind of stuff is a lot of the things that um, are happening it's like the kind of cutting edge of you know the pushing the envelope mm. forward, and so if somebody pushes here and then pushes here, um, I mean it's like interesting. For example, like um, what we've seen kind of happening in the mobile mm. uh, device space, where it's like um, like the Samsung came out with that tablet computer, yes, Galaxy, and it was before the operating system had all of the kind of things that you know would support a tablet. Yeah. But it's Samsung was like, well, we want to get this tablet to market. It's a cool device, and uh, we think people will like it. So it's interesting because like you know so sometimes we're innovating by driving some of the software yeah. forward, then a hardware manufacturer might be innovating and driving that forward. And then, you know, you, everyone's still, you know, one person takes a step, the next person mm -hmm. takes a step. So I think in some respects, it's kind of like, you know, the competition aspect is the part that actually continues to drive. It's kind of mm -hmm. the emotive force behind all of it. Um, so I don't, I don't ever think about, it. I mean, personally, I don't kind of get um, upset about people taking kind of that next spin because I think in the end, Whatever someone does this way or that way or whatever that spectrum is, there's always going to be the ideas that sort of come out of that that make it better mm. at, the, at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I'm submit. I mean, it's like I once got a reference that said I was driven by hate, which I'm still not <laughs> sure if that's really good. But um, <laughs> the reason I ask that is that because I, I do think competition's fantastic, um, as long as you're quite competitive still. And yes, I yeah. always think the who made amazing music because yeah. John Entwistle and Pete Townsend didn't really like each other. So right, they, right. in their desperate bid to be better than the other person, everything. Uh, yeah, my wife has this wonderful expression. She says, it dumbed up. You know, right, and I just, right. I like that. <laughs> you know, I'll never give her credit, but it's on video now, so she'll like it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah, so, so what are the things that are important to you in terms of what you yeah, want to do? Well, and I mean, the big, the big thing for me is like, I mean, honestly, like my kind of personal mantra about all this stuff is, um, you know, using or using technology, maybe not like using it, like abusing or using it, but like leveraging technology to drive positive change. Mm. Like that to me is, I think, the underlying um, thing that motivates me. You can I ask so, a, a very pointed question? Sure, sure. What does positive change mean? B because does that not ultimately mean somebody's deciding what's positive or negative? Sure, sure. So um, I guess I'm sort of thinking like, um, you know, like I th like what's hap what we've seen recently with um, Twitter being used to like allow people to have conversations and yeah. when the internet's down or whatever in yeah. Egypt or Libya or the, any of these kind of things, this idea of being able to tweet over the phone when the internet's not there. Yeah. Um, those kind of things I think are really useful in terms of helping to keep communities mm -hmm. together and, and disseminate information.